As you might expect, we'll be making forward-looking statements about our business and financial performance during the course of this presentation. Those statements are subject to risks and uncertainties that are described in our filings with the SEC. Please refer to the full text of the forward-looking statement slide for further information. We ask that you refrain from audio or video recording or rebroadcasting any of the content. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Hey, so I don't know if you know, but there's a service interruption. Oh, really? Hey, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Complexity jerk? I don't have time for you today, man. I'm just gonna... You, uh, you trying to troubleshoot? You're gonna be needing this. And this. And this! You're gonna need so many tools. No, you won't. Splunk Observability Cloud gives you one seamless workflow across monitoring, troubleshooting, and response. You mean I can close the 780 tabs I've opened? Yep, now there's one unified UX. New app launched. You're gonna need more tools to monitor these babies. Nope, still just the one. That's... Stop, stop, stop. I said this, stop. Oh! <laughs> that hurt! Oh! Thank you for joining us. In our session today, we will share with you what we've been up to the past year, how we can help you be successful with Splunk observability. But first, we'd like to know how many of you have encountered the complexity jerk? How many of you are drowning in a sea of tools? I'm Mala Palutla, Global Group Vice President for our Observability Sales Specialist. And along with Patrick Lynn, our Vice President of Product Management for Observability, we're going to walk you through where we've been, but more importantly, what's new and exciting in the Splunk observability and the ecosystem. What a year it's been, and thank you for making us number one in ITOM, ITIM, AI ops and observability. While industry analysts like Gartner, IDC, and GigaOM have recognized Splunk, that recognition comes from the ongoing trust you have put in our products and solutions. You've known, used, and loved Splunk for years as the best logging and data platform around. But Splunk has since expanded into being so much more that includes not only logs, but also metrics, traces, and events. Let's just do a quick recap what we've been up to since we met you at lastyears.com and the momentum we've had with observability. One, we launched both Observability Cloud and IT Cloud, a fully integrated cloud portfolio specifically built to address your IT and observability needs and designed to help you no matter where you are in your digital transformation and cloud journey. Two, we launched IT Essentials Learn at Work, new free applications available to download from Splunk Base that helps you use Splunk for common IT use cases like investigations and troubleshooting. Three, we launched new content packs, both for ITSI and IT Essentials work to help you monitor and manage critical applications and business services in your IT environments. We also added SAP observability via the new service intelligence for SAP solutions. Next, we made significant contributions to OTEL. Splunk is the number one largest contributor to OTEL. We've also added more integrations between Splunk, you know and love, and the new observability capabilities. But that's enough about us. What we're here to talk about is you and the challenges that we help you solve. We know that many of you have been through on a journey to transform your operations and how you engage with your customers. And the past 18 months due to COVID has given new urgency to accelerate your digital journey. In today's world, milliseconds translate into millions of dollars and the reliability and performance of your technology stack has never been more critical, all the way from your user experience 
to your applications and your infrastructure impacts your business. Many of you are moving to the cloud and adopting new technologies like containers and microservices to accelerate the delivery of these new features to market, increase performance and reliability, and improve the overall business agility and market responsiveness. So what does that really mean? You're likely modernizing existing applications and building new custom applications natively in the cloud. And behind those new applications, you probably have teams of developers and SREs that are now responsible for not only building applications, but also running applications in production. And they're also releasing application code more frequently. You need to develop an approach that drives speed with the ability to prioritize, isolate, and resolve problems quickly and innovate at the speed of your business. You need to constantly optimize customer experience and you need to do this innovation on your terms. Whether you are in IT ops keeping key IT and business services running, an SRE keeping the website up for your business, or a developer trying to get good code out of the door faster, you've got new challenges and complexity to deal with, and you don't have the right tools to address these challenges right now. These problems aren't new, but the rapid complexity of cloud and microservices and the adoption of many new technologies that go along with them change the way you need to think about monitoring and managing them. And while you're bringing in new tools, you're also realizing that the systems, applications, and processes you've been running aren't going away anytime soon. That mainframe is delivering stability and value. Some services need to stay stable to maintain integration. Everything feels like an addition rather than swapping out legacy systems for new systems. And you should know, you're not alone. In Splunk's first state of the observability research, 86% cited difficulties including inadequate legacy tools, lack of platform options, concern about open source tools and tool fragmentation. 56% reported challenges that include silos, too many data sources, scalability problems, and difficulties around distributed environments. 68% of organizations deploy cloud-native applications in a complex combination of public cloud and private data center edge locations. Observability is a natural evolution of monitoring. Splunk has always been in the observability business, even if we didn't call it that. We've always been taking in data wherever it exists, identifying patterns to help you understand why something is wrong. There are three themes we want to touch on for observability. The first theme, customer experience. This is where it all starts. Observability helps us answer questions like, are customers getting a good performance experience from our website? Two, speed. Speed is important on multiple fronts, from helping developers innovate faster to getting answers on why problems are happening immediately. Everybody needs tools and visibility that helps them perform their best work. Three, innovate on your own terms. Observability needs to work with your services, your people, and your technology. It needs to help you run what you have while preparing for what you're building. To show you how we're innovating technology to deliver on these three key themes, here is our VP of Observability of Products, Patrick Lin, uh, to share some exciting news. Hey there, I'm Patrick Lin, VP of Product Management for Observability here at Splunk, and I'm super excited to tell you about all the innovation we're delivering across our observability portfolio. Now, before I get into the newer things we're doing, let's level set on what capabilities are needed from an observability platform. Based on our experience working with many customers, we believe there are five things you need to get right. First, your observability has to be full stack and end to end. It's not enough to have visibility just at one layer or for just one generation of technology. It needs to be across the entire stack, from the infrastructure up through the applications, the end user experience, the databases, the network, APIs, and so on. And it also needs to account for all the different generations of technology that you employ. Only with that can you actually eliminate blind spots and ensure the resilience of your environment. Second, when something starts to go sideways, your observability platform has to tell you that you need to pay attention as quickly as possible, within seconds, not minutes, and preferably before your customers tell you about it on Twitter. Third, your observability platform has to have analytics at its core. 
The complexity of your environments means they can fail or be degraded in so many ways that it's impossible to predict it all ahead of time. And so when there are issues, you need analytics and machine learning to help recommend who should be working on a problem or which areas to check next and how these symptoms relate to one another. Fourth, your observability has to be able to support you at the scale you're operating at and be able to flex with you if you need more. Say, if you're prepping for Black Friday or Singles Day or Super Bowl Sunday, you also need to make sure that it helps you with driving adoption through standardization. To be successful with observability, you need to provide your developers with a paved road, not a million little exercises in choose your own adventure. And finally, we're a huge believer in the use of open standards, especially for collecting data. There's no reason any of you should be locked into a vendor because of the agent that they provide. All of us should be competing for your business based on what we do with the data to deliver insights and results, not simply on our ability to collect it. With that as the background, we're constantly improving our portfolio to deliver against what Mala talked about earlier, customer experience, speed, and the ability to innovate on your own terms. Now, let's start with customer experience. With the increase in remote everything during the pandemic, delivering a great digital experience matters more than ever before. And when it comes to customer experience, performance is one of the most important things to measure because studies have shown that being just one second slower can increase user abandonment by 10%. And even a 100 millisecond improvement can improve your revenue by 1%. Furthermore, you get 24% less abandonment if core Web Vital standards are met. So from lost revenue or to your ranking in Google search engine, making improvements to site or application performance will drive business outcomes that are highly visible to stakeholders. Now, how do you make sure it's great? Splunk helps you by enabling you to measure the performance of your app or your site. And with that in mind, we're announcing two very important new additions to our product line. First, Splunk Observability Cloud now comes with fully integrated synthetic monitoring, including single authentication and user experience for teams that are responsible for building, maintaining, and troubleshooting applications. You can easily set up tests and view end-to-end -end performance for that end user experience all the way through to your backend services. Second, Splunk Real User Monitoring now extends observability of our user experience monitoring to native mobile apps, Splunk RUM for mobile is the only solution that provides end-to-end -end tracing based on open telemetry, which helps front-end and back-end developers work together to deliver reliable and seamless end-user experiences. We know you love demos, and we love them too. So let's dive into our first demo, and let's move from monitoring customer experience to isolating the problem using Splunk Observability Cloud. We just got a new critical alert. Our browser test is failing and we want to know why. So we bring up our synthetics view, which we just announced, but we can dig into this alert and see what's going on. Right away, we can see when the problem kicked in. We can see how it impacted duration and what part failed in the synthetic transaction. In this waterfall view, we can see where the transaction completed without issues and we can also see where it didn't. We still need to find out why. So with a single click, let's dig into this 500 error we're seeing with real user monitoring with a single in-context click. Looking at RUM, we use Tag Spotlight to isolate attributes where we can find the problem. And what we see here is that one error that the browser test experienced. But in this application's case, their end users come from native iOS and Android apps. And we can see that thanks to Splunk RUM for mobile, which we just introduced. To continue our drill down, let's take a look at a specific session to see what the user's experience was like and exactly when and where they faced issues. If this was a mobile app tool only, we would have had to stop here at this generic 500 internal server error. But with full stack observability, we can go to the exact transaction in the backend too. We need insight into how the backend of our system is interacting with the API, so we'll go straight into APM tracing with just one click and we see the trace waterfall of the exact backend request and at which step the issue occurred. We also capture stack traces with new always-on APM code profiling. We can either click through the stack traces for this request or go into an aggregated view to identify key bottlenecks in our code. With always-on profiling, tables and flame graphs give us an aggregated view of what's executed, in what order, and how long it took, 
down to the Java function and line of code. There's a lot going on, and as a developer, I want to see if and how my code plays into this mix. So we'll filter on stacks that contain functions that I've written. I can see the function, and then it's line 32 that's being executed. I find this code in my IDE and can identify the exact line of code that is leading to that timeout and resulting in the specific 500 error. So with the new features in observability that we just announced, I was able to understand what was causing a failure on a mobile app, trace it to the backend service to isolate the exact step at which the issue occurred, and from there, identify the exact line of code that was problematic. And I was able to do that with minimal effort on my part. For Carvana, the pioneer in online car buying and the third fastest company to reach the Fortune 500 based on organic growth alone, outages that impact customers' car shopping can be very costly, so they needed a real-time, full-stack monitoring solution to efficiently scale their infrastructure, support rapid growth, and provide an exceptional online shopping experience for customers. Now, after using Splunk Cloud for monitoring for several years, Carvana also decided to go all in on Splunk observability. Splunk gives Carvana real-time end-to-end visibility into how customers are interacting with their website. With Splunk observability, Carvana is able to break down silos, prevent downtime, improve on root cause analysis, and gain full stack visibility into microservices, allowing their security, front end, and DevOps teams to draw contextual insights that support continuous uptime and that aggressive growth trajectory. You can hear more about these new capabilities and how customers are using them throughout Conf. If you're interested in learning more, please check out these APM, RUM, and synthetic monitoring sessions. Now, of course, understanding what your users are experiencing is just the first step. Next, you'll want to make sure that your teams are reacting quickly to issues as they arise and proactively planning improvements that will affect performance. So how are we helping you to detect and resolve issues and enable you to innovate more quickly? Whether you're an IT admin, an SRE, or a developer, when problems come up, speed matters. If you're in IT ops, you're supporting teams that are making use of containers or other cloud infrastructure that can be here and gone in a matter of seconds, you need something that lets you keep up with the pace of change. If you're an SRE, you're all about keeping the site up and constantly improving on the on-call processes, the triage, the tooling that helps you have the insights you need when something goes bump in the night. For the developers out there, when you're not on call, your job is to deliver awesome apps and experiences that give your business a competitive edge as quickly and as reliably as you can. Having real-time visibility into how your code is doing during and after code pushes gives you the confidence to do that. And when you are on call, the faster you can help resolve things, the better. Time spent debugging incidents is time spent away from your code. And to help you move faster, we're announcing a whole series of new capabilities today. First, for the developers among you, we're giving you the ability to look more deeply into application issues. With Splunk APM, you've had the ability to look at all the traffic and interactions between services. With our new always-on profiling being added to Splunk APM, you'll get code-level visibility into both traditional and modern applications, the intra-service view, if you will, to complement the inter-service view that already exists. Now, you are probably already know one of Splunk's APM's defining capabilities is that it captures every single trace. Now, for all those traces, always on profiling will link call stacks to that trace data, helping you to identify the specific lines of code that are creating performance bottlenecks. Also as part of APM, we're adding more visibility into dependencies with Splunk APM database visibility. Unlike other APM solutions, only Splunk shows queries and latency that is specific to the service and database interaction, which finds issues much faster in distributed systems. Splunk APM users will now be able to automatically view slow and high execution queries in context with service maps, aggregate performance against historical time windows, and they'll also be able to correlate query performance against index tags, infrastructure elements, availability zones, and more, all without having to instrument that database. Next, for those of you who are ever on call, we're improving on how quickly you're set up to see what's going wrong and get prescriptive guidance on what's most important to monitor with Splunk Infrastructure Monitoring Auto Detect. 
AutoDetect automatically discovers popular services and provides anomaly detection for them, reducing the setup time for alerting in Splunk infrastructure monitoring. And also for those of you who are on call, and I'm talking to the SREs out there and also every developer or service owner, I'm proud to announce that we're making Splunk Observability Cloud Mobile available so you can be productive and responsive no matter where you are in the world. With Splunk, you can get observability anytime and anywhere. And Splunk Observability Mobile lets you stay connected to your alerts and dashboards so you can quickly view, respond to, and triage incidents right from your mobile device, shaving minutes from your incident resolution times. In our last demo, you may have noticed we're running into multiple errors in our environment. We need to investigate quickly, and every second counts. So let's look at the other burning issue we have to address. Back to our overview of alerts, there's a CPU issue with one of our MySQL hosts. Now, we just introduced Splunk Observability Auto Detect to you today, which identifies anomalies, in this case, in your infrastructure services, and raises an alert. Offhand, this CPU usage is a quickly escalating problem, and thanks to how detectors are set up, we can open a runbook to speed up our investigation. The CPU is running hot, and since this is a database, let's start by investigating the performance of that database, because I'd like to figure out how deeply it affects the overall service that the database supports. In our service view, we can see that the checkout service is impacted because of MySQL server performance. But why? Let's take a look at the database queries. We can go straight into MySQL database performance, and we see that the queries that are impacting the performance, and we see queries by their total time taken, their P90 latency, and even by the number of times they're run. And clearly, there's something wrong with this first query because it's taking over a minute. Let's use Tag Spotlight to understand what has been impacted. It's impacting checkouts, and that's revenue, right? And we need service owners and SREs to look at optimizing this query. One last thing before I leave this demo. I did all of this with the power of a big screen, but sometimes you don't have one. With Splunk Observability Mobile, you'll be able to see alerts and triage and investigate from your mobile device. Between this and the previous demo, there are a few key takeaways here. First is the full stack view and getting visibility to problems from many angles, from synthetics to infrastructure to database to application, keeping context of what we're investigating in a single click. Second, behind the scenes is advanced analytics that are processing all this data in real time, surfacing alerts and bringing the more relevant data to your attention. And last, you get these insights your way, web or mobile. How cool is that? In addition to learning about our latest products, please use Conf as an opportunity to get to know all our observability products and learn more about best practices for monitoring infrastructure and applications. Now, we've been talking about all the great things we're doing for the applications and infrastructure that you're adding to your portfolio. But given all the challenges you're addressing, it's important that your approach to observability works for your environment. We've already discussed the importance of thinking about environments as and, but there's more to innovating on your own terms. Innovating on your terms means that the technologies you currently run and the ones you're going to run can be brought into a single view. Why? Because we see many customers whose newly developed mobile apps may be the front end, but in an e-commerce use case, fulfillment of orders is handed off to an SAP environment. And so both the IT and business owners need a complete view of this. That complete view starts with data collection and instrumentation. And at Splunk, we believe that the means by which you collect that data, in other words, the agents that you install, should be open source and an open standards-based commodity. Open telemetry is fundamentally changing how traces, metrics, and logs are collected. And it's opening up a whole new world of possibilities by giving you the ability to send data to any observability solution. As a cloud-native computing foundation project, it's open source, so anyone can use and contribute to it. And it's garnered a lot of industry support because of how strategic and important it is. Just this year alone, over 3,300 different developers have contributed to it. A good chunk of that comes from Splunk, and we're 100% committed to open telemetry. We're a founding member and have made the most contributions to the project. We're so bullish on it, in fact, that we've built our entire observability cloud to function natively on top of open telemetry. 
the way we leverage its conventions to structure what you see, the way we use its metadata model to enable you to easily correlate your logs with data about your infrastructure or applications, it's all rooted in our use of OpenTelemetry. And our commitment to it continues unabated. At Splunk, we've helped to make it a powerful and complete framework for any kind of telemetry. And I'm proud to announce that we're also donating a way to collect high fidelity, detailed pairwise network telemetry using eBPF, a low latency approach that exposes a wide range of application and kernel telemetry with negligible overheads. This enables users to build an accurate and complete model of service dependencies and health without any changes to application code or container images. Our enthusiasm for OpenTelemetry is mirrored among our customers. We've seen many of you adopt OpenTelemetry this year, and every indication is that we'll see even more widespread adoption over the next couple of years. One example of this adoption is at care.com, which has been looking to OpenTelemetry as a way of building monitoring into their services. Sean from care.com has a great session called Observability from the Ground Up Using OpenTelemetry and Splunk APM at care.com. And he'll be offering practical advice for implementing OpenTelemetry, especially on top of Kubernetes and Lambda. Please check it out. You might be thinking to yourself, that's a lot of stuff. And you'd be right, OpenTelemetry, profiling, database visibility, synthetics, mobile, what more do you have? Well, let me tell you. In the spirit of ensuring that you can do observability your way, we've also been hard at work making sure you can manage more of your critical services more easily. In the past, you may have had to install and manage individual apps like Splunk App for VMware and Splunk App for Windows Infrastructure. Now, with Splunk App for Content Packs, you can eliminate the need to manually install, manage, and update these individual Splunk apps used for investigation and troubleshooting. You no longer have to use the backup and restore functionality to install content packs as one app now updates all content packs together, ensuring that you'll always be using the latest and greatest version of each with significantly less effort. Now, in addition to that app, we've also delivered a variety of new content packs, including one for Microsoft 365, which gives you full visibility into your cloud-based Microsoft services like Exchange, SharePoint, Power BI, and more. We have one for third-party APM, which lets you bring your APM data into Splunk ITSI or IT Essentials work so you can better manage the performance of all your applications alongside the rest of your IT environment. We also have in preview mode a content pack for our own observability cloud, which provides an integration with data from Splunk APM, Splunk Infrastructure Monitoring, and Splunk Synthetics into a single unified service analyzer view within ITSI. Now, speaking of synthetic monitoring, we also have a content pack just for that, with pre-built dashboards and common KPIs available, allowing you to better manage the performance of your web applications by identifying and viewing synthetic checks. Now, the content packs aren't the only form of integration that we're doing between products in our portfolio. We have a new synthetics add-on available to integrate synthetic monitoring data into either Splunk Cloud or Splunk Enterprise. And I'm very excited about the preview of the integration of Splunk Observability Cloud with Splunk Enterprise that's due out later this year. The Observability Cloud has an intuitive interface for exploring logs in the context of your applications and infrastructure. And with this integration, you'll be able to use that interface, which we call Log Observer, to explore logs in Splunk Enterprise. If you would like to learn more about exploring Splunk Enterprise using Log Observer, we have a great session from Subu and Becca. Look for it in the session scheduler. Let's look at how the content packs we just announced make IT teams more productive, capable of finding anticipating problems, and shortening the time required to resolve problems in the systems you use to run your business. Getting a content pack installed takes about five minutes and a few simple steps. First, get the content pack from Splunkbase. Second, go into ITSI, where you'll find the integration ready to install. Third, select what Microsoft 365 data you want to collect, as well as what entities you want to import. Entities will be imported, data will be collected, and it may take a couple of minutes, but then you'll be good to go. Once setup is complete, 
IT Essentials work users can get the infrastructure overview to get information on all M365 entities, like tenants, workspaces, as well as access to over a dozen pre-built dashboards that allow for a deeper dive into specific data. Dashboards such as the Security Alerts Overview can empower your security teams to see the current security posture of your environment and react to emerging threats quickly, or the individual application dashboards like the OneDrive Overview can illustrate how your users are utilizing OneDrive. With ITSI, we can populate those Microsoft 365 entities into services and see a holistic view of the environment and drill down into their pre-built KPIs already populating with data, as well as several pre-built glass tables that build on the dashboards we saw earlier, like the Executive Overview glass table, which shows a top-down view of the environment's health scores at a glance. Or you can check out the Overview and Security glass tables, which empower your operations and security teams to run more efficiently and reduce response times. We've put our expertise into these content packs so you can quickly get the insights you need to monitor Microsoft 365 and many other kinds of infrastructure and apps much more effectively. Freddie Mac is a perfect example of how you can leverage the breadth and depth of Splunk. Freddie Mac wanted to improve operations and gain better business insight into controls and data flowing through their applications. They also wanted better visibility into the customer experience. This means knowing which customers are using the applications and when, and how they're using those applications, and if they experience errors, being able to quickly resolve those errors. Equally important, they want to use data to drive decisions based on both what's currently happening as well as emerging trends. They piloted Splunk in 2017 and have used it since. They were impressed with the real-time monitoring, streaming, and dashboarding capabilities, and its ability to handle various data sources. And their business operations team benefits from having a shared view of service status and trends. Please be sure to join Lucas and Yogita of Freddie Mac for their session on how to leverage Splunk for complete and accurate business process monitoring. They'll talk about their transformation, getting visibility into operations, and assessing customer impact and how Splunk has automated monitoring and reporting. Everything we've talked about comes together in our industry-leading approach to observability. We offer you the most comprehensive set of capabilities for infrastructure, application, user, and business monitoring in one integrated portfolio with the built-in analytics, real-time streaming, and enterprise scale. And as we mentioned, Observability is a journey unto itself, and it doesn't have to be linear. You can choose from any of these capabilities or use all of them. The best part is you can start with what you already have, Splunk Enterprise or Splunk Cloud, and grow into observability. We'll help you every step of the way, whether you start with instant response to help accelerate mean time to innocence, business service insights and AI ops to help improve the performance of existing business and IT services, APM, to improve app performance and accelerate the pace at which you deliver new features to your customers. Digital experience monitoring to understand if users in a certain region are experiencing slowness and to optimize your website. Or infrastructure monitoring to quickly detect and resolve underlying issues with on-premises infrastructure or hybrid or cloud services. Check out these sessions for more about content packs, what's new in ITSI, and open telemetry. The Open Telemetry sessions in particular feature speakers that are instrumental in driving the project at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. So be sure to check those out. So with that, let me turn it back over to Mala. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, great to hear the new exciting innovations within Splunk Observability. Splunk is here as your partner to not only solve your complex observability challenges, but also provides you the flexibility to drive your projects across Splunk. If you have Splunk Cloud, you're already doing observability. Now it's time to add to it, starting with metrics-driven infrastructure monitoring and synthetic monitoring to better understand and improve customer experience. Splunk offers the best coverage across your environment you have today and the one you're building for tomorrow. And the value of having that all in one platform drives insights, innovations, and efficiencies that won't happen from cobbling siloed monitoring tools together. 
We also have a rich partner ecosystem that gives you access to technology partners and an extremely rich Splunk community. Our partner program continues to enable delivery partners to accelerate your path to value. One example where technology and experts come together is around SAP. We've entered a strategic partnership with SAP and Software One that provides you with the end-to-end -end visibility into your SAP business operations, combined with proactive machine learning-driven analytics to detect and respond to performance degradations and outages, eliminating unplanned downtime and preventing issues before they happen. Splunk Ideas is our way of getting feedback on our products to continuously enhance your experience with Splunk. At ideas.splunk.com, you can search, vote, and request enhancement to solutions. Let's not forget our local user groups, which are a lot of fun. And last but not least, open source initiatives are a great way to collaborate and extend the capabilities of Splunk Hotel native products. People who have taken this observability journey have seen these benefits and so can you. In the same research we shared with you earlier on challenges, we also shared the upside. Leaders, the top 11% of organizations that have shown maturity around observability experience, data correlation, vendor rationalization, and use of AI and ML were 4.5 times as likely to report high success in digital transformation initiatives. In addition, 82% of those observability leaders showed significant improvements in faster problem detection, increased visibility across cloud native and traditional applications, faster application development, and faster application deployment. Experts from Shopify, Estee Lauder, Care.com, Progressive, Dell, Google, and others are delivering sessions describing the observability journey using Splunk solutions where you can learn more. We're wrapping up our super session, but you're just warming up your .conf experience. If what you've heard sounds interesting to you, there are a few things I would like you to do this week. Learn a lot with a little bit of your time. Check out the IT ops and DevOps tracks here at .conf. We've highlighted some must-see sessions, but there is so much more to explore. Experts from Shopify, Estee Lauder, Care.com, Progressive, Dell, Google, like I mentioned earlier, and others are delivering sessions describing the observability journey using Splunk solutions. All of these sessions have great insights from people who are embracing Splunk's approach to observability and realizing positive outcomes. At .conf, we have a number of observability demos for you to check out and experts who want to connect with you over our online event platform. Please check it out. It's a great way to make connections as well. Next, en engage with Splunk communities. Check out Splunk answers, ask a question, view and share best practices with experts that are using the products daily. Splunk Ideas is where you can search, vote, and request enhancements to our solutions. Find a local user group. Share and collaborate with your Splunk community. And last but not least, start a Splunk observability trial today. Go to splunk.com to get started. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please use the session survey to let us know about our session today. But don't go just yet, because that crazy complexity jerk is back for one last chase. Ugh, I don't have time for this. The website is down and I need to know why. Hey, looking for this? <sighs> complexity jerk, I need that answer now. People are hounding me.
Next slide. Hey! You don't need to wrestle with complexity to get answers fast. You need me. No. We have Splunk Observability Cloud now, which means real-time, accurate problem detection, and directed troubleshooting. Predictive analytics? You bet. Hmm. Try to catch me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the wall, wasn't it? Ah. Uh. <laughs>